What's going on, Fight Fans? It's Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Rob Jarrell. And um, I actually wasn't going to do this video. Sorry, I'm watching the uh, playoffs. And uh, yes, I watched the NBA playoffs. So we're going to put that on Pizzles. Um, yes, I wasn't going to do this video. I just happened to catch the stream on Facebook. Thank you, Facebook, and whoever provided that. I don't even know who it was. Because that's not going to be quiet unless I make it be quiet. Um, and I was going to do a preview, but I had so little um, information and footage on Julius Adongo aside from his knockout of Eduard uh, Trojanovsky out of Russia, which was to which was totally out of nowhere because it was the first round one punch KO. And a fight before that in which he knocked out his opponent in the first round. It's interesting because Adongo... In Dongo, I'm sorry, um, is not a knockout artist or he has become a harder hitter over time because he won his last three fights by knockout, two in the first round. But he's only but he was 22 and 0 with 11 knockouts and he was going against Ricky Burns. Now, Ricky Burns has um, I love British fighters. I love the British fans. They come out for any and everything, regardless of who it is. And they love just about every style. But. Ricky Burns, I think, is one of those fighters that has done the most with the least amount of tools or the least amount of, say, um, natural ability. That's kind of jacked up to say because he's still a top athlete. He's still a champion. Um, his biggest fights, he has lost. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, we know he lost to Terrence Crawford, uh, Zlatichanin. Um, it's a few other fights that I really don't feel like looking up at the moment, so bear with me. And he's just been in so many wars. I think he was just a bit worn down for this fight because this guy, Adongo, coming out of um, Nambia, he was on the Olympic team in 2012, if I'm not mistaken. A total unknown. Even against Troyanovsky, he was still an unknown. He was in there, put in there to lose against Troyanovsky. Because he had a good record, he was a good quality fighter, but he wasn't really known. And Troy Yanovsky really hadn't had a lot of competition at that time. And they were talking about him fighting Terrence Crawford after Ndongo. Well, we know Ndongo threw a wrench in that. And Ricky Burns um, had a chance to have a fight with someone else at 140. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but they chose Ndongo. Um... I'm going to have to look this up because uh, it's some things that I. Sorry, I, I was trying to avoid looking stuff up, but um, Ricky Burns was the um, the WBA um, super lightweight champion. Um, and Idongo, I want to say. He held the IBF and the IBO titles as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Be, okay, so I got it straight. Adongo, when he beat Troy Noski, he won the IBF and IBO light welterweight titles, the 140 titles. And he won the WBA in this win versus Ricky Burns. That's big. And I don't care what anyone says. That is super big um, because Julius Adongo has done more in two fights than many fighters have done since they've been boxers. And he's done it in literally two fights. He's got three belts. Um, I know you see me typing and I, trust me, this is not a normal thing for me. But yes, it is. I'm not even going to lie. But it's just interesting because that throws a completely different name in the 140 pound fight uh, division, because we know we had Postal hasn't fought. Ricky Burns was a champion. Terrence Crawford is a champion. So there's literally two champions right now for all the belts. Terrence Crawford holds the WBC, the WBO ring, and he's the lineal champ. And Julius Ndongo holds the IBF, the IBO, and the WBA. So we have a rare, 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 super rare occurrence where. If Terrence Crawford gets past Felix Diaz, if I'm him, I go straight to Ndongo and get all the belts. How crazy would that be? When is the last time you've seen 
I can't even, that's like the ultimate undisputed. You're talking about WBA, WBC, IBF, WBO, IBO, the ring, the ring and the lineal championship all going to one person. And with everything going on today, as far as politics and belts and whatever you want to say, for a chance, if Terrence Crawford, which he should, I believe he will, gets past a very live, a very game, and a very dangerous Felix Diaz, if I'm Aram, I offer everything. Um, maybe not 50-50, but I offer everything in the kitchen sink to get Julius and Dongo in the ring with Terrence Crawford to get though that those three belts. I'm actually getting very excited thinking about it. Not for Terrence Crawford, but either one of these guys, can Dongo pull off what he did, um, pull off the upset, or can Terrence Crawford go down to history as the undisputed everything? But going back to the fight, um, Dongo prevented a presented a challenge. You could tell he was much fresher, had much more snap, and coming from that southpaw uh, stance, he was very awkward. And what I wanted to mention in a short video uh, that I didn't get to do, the preview video, is that he likes to control the action with his um, his right hook. Now, he did a lot of good things, even though it was awkward in, from that southpaw stance. He made sure with his footwork, which is still so-so, but he made sure to step on the outside of Ricky Burns and he could counter. He hit some straight rights to the body. Um, he utilized the jab and he's actually, from what I've seen in the two fights, he's gotten better. There just wasn't an extensive resume or extensive um, display of skill and everything that I was able to pull from. But you could tell that Ricky Burns was a little shot worn in this fight. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to fight again, but Idongo was just much fresher, much more awkward. He was able to uh, land that counter and lead right hook time to time. So it was a good fight. I really liked the fight. Um, we don't get those kind of fights anymore where multiple belts are on the line. And I think Ricky Burns didn't have much of a choice because at this point, anyone that he was, anyone that he uh, was going to face was going to be someone dangerous, um, to be honest. And looking at the uh, current rankings, I don't like too much silence, but um, sorry, you just got to kind of bear with me for a second. I mean, you had a Ricky Burns, you had Ndongo. Then you had guys like Victor Postal, John Molina, Troy Novsky, Sergey Lipinets, um, O'Hara Davies. There's just plenty of names to go around, especially in, if guys decide that they want to move up. So he took this fight. And at this point... This is for, oh, and Amiri Mom. I mean, he's always going to be there. Um, I don't know. It's it's getting a little bit shallow at 140 pounds. Um, but it's still kind of exciting because new guys have to be created to make this 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 division interesting. I mean, you still have the Mike Reeves, Maurice Hookers. Um Some of these guys are just very, yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of it's it's not as deep as you would like it was, and guys moved up because they just outgrew the division. But um, I mean, it was a good fight. It was a live fight. I just think Ricky Burns he just didn't have much in the tank to take a guy like Ndongo. Um, and Ndongo went to his backyard and he he beat him. He he actually. I would have probably given Ricky Burns maybe two rounds. I know one of them was uh, 118 to 110, which seemed fair. Um, but it's just it's it's a, just a crazy occurrence, and we can and we can have something. So um, tell me what you guys think. Um, hopefully, you watch the fight. Check on YouTube. I'm sure it's there. Um, it's a pretty decent fight. Um, and this guy coming out of Nambia, which doesn't really have a deep boxing background, was able to get three belts. And he's and I'm talking about three belts where it's the WBA doesn't have a super interim diamond, whatever it is. He is the belt holder. So tell me what you guys think. Hit me up. Let me know something. Tell me what you think. Um, of course, we're on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, Google Plus. 
email us capitalcombat uh, at gmail.com and until next time fight on